Hey guys, welcome back and surprise, there's another update to Luminar Neo today. It is version 1.9.0. It was three weeks ago that we got version 1.8 and it was only a couple of months before that that we got version 1.7. So these guys in Ukraine, despite all the challenges that they faced, are just cranking out updates to Luminar Neo, which is fantastic and fun and of course, great for us as users. I love their dedication, not just to the platform, but to their user base and customer base. It's really just inspiring and frankly, amazing to me. And what I want to do is talk real quickly today about what's new in this update. So let's get into Luminar. Here it is, version 1.9.0. If you don't have it yet, click on the Luminar Neo uh, little thing, uh, word or whatever in the top left and click check for updates and uh, you will uh, be able to update there. Keep in mind, sometimes these updates roll out around the globe to lessen the load on servers. So if you don't have it yet, hang tight, it's coming. If you're a current user, it's a free update. Also, if you don't have Luminar, now's a great time to get it because they're also running a special where anyone that buys it between now and May 1st, you get entered into a drawing to join us in Iceland in August, a free trip. Not to mention they got quite a few bonuses. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. So let's talk about this undo and redo functionality. I've got an image here. This is just a JPEG simply because I had to straighten it and take spots out. And I wanted to fix all that so I don't waste any time in the video doing it. But of course, all this works on raw files. All right, I've got my image here. I'm going to click on presets and I'm in my quick start preset pack, which by the way, if you subscribe to my newsletter on my website, you get this preset pack for free. It's 10 presets, link down below. But what I'll do is just click through here and as you probably know, with presets, as you hover, they uh, they apply to, uh, or they give you a visual preview, which was one of the updates uh, that we uh, recently got. I'm gonna go with this set the scene. I think that looks pretty awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and click over to edit. And you will see on edit, I'm over here. And remember, there's the tools tab where you have the access to all the different tools and edits shows you the tools that have been applied. Well, these are the tools that are inside this preset. Now, uh, to undo or redo on a Mac, it's Command Z or Command Shift Z. I don't actually know what it is on Windows, but I'm sure you do if you're a Windows user. And uh, anyway, that's what this update includes. So if I wanted to undo, I wanted to point out that this is undo at the filter or tool level individually. I don't back out of the whole preset. If I wanted to back out of the whole preset, I could just click this discard edits. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is undo some of these tools. Well, here's something I've figured out is that if you hit command Z, I'm just getting, if you listen, I don't know if you can hear that sound, it's not doing anything. And so what I've found, at least in my experiment so far, keep in mind, I just got this update literally a few minutes ago. So I've been playing with it and wanted to share how this works but it's not backing out of the individual tools in a preset um, unless I go in and I just click undo and delete. And then maybe if I wanna re, uh, undo that, for example, I can now hit command Z and it will add back that structure that was uh, just removed. And by the way, you'll notice it adds it back at zero. So you gotta hit command Z again and it will reapply the amount that was added. So let's say I wanna go and make some further refinements to this preset to make it look different, which I often do and I recommend doing with presets. It's a great starting point, but they generally need some refinement. Well, I'll go into tools and let's say the first thing I wanna do is just go into develop and let's say I wanna lift this exposure. Maybe it's a little too, uh, too dark, so I'm gonna brighten that up a little bit. Maybe put on the shadows, pull up the highlights or excuse me, pull down the highlights, pull up the shadows. I just want to get what I want to get, right? I want to make the photo look the way I want it to look. Maybe I want to make it a little bit warmer. So let's say I do that. And then let's say, hey, the orange is a little too orange. What's well, easy fix? Go into color, go into saturation, and just pull down the orange a little bit. And let's say that looks pretty good. And then maybe I want to go back over here and slightly change the temperature because I forgot to do that. So let's just say I want to take the tint and the temperature and just add a little bit more magenta and maybe a little bit more coolness. I'm just kind of making this up if you can't tell, but let's say I got my photo looking the way I want it to look. Now I'm gonna click on the edits tab and go over here and check out what I've got. Well, I've got develop, which is, if you look here in color, that's the stuff I just did with temperature and tint. Before that, I did color where I went into HSL and I reduced the saturation of the oranges. You can see that there. And then down before that, let me get down here, I went into develop, and this is where I did these things with exposure, 
contrast, highlights, and shadows. So those are the different tools that I've used. Let's say I want to get rid of those and decide I want to go back to where I was before I did those three tools. So again, this would be a Command Z. Uh, you'll notice that the temperature and the tint are changing each time I hit Command Z and now develop is gone. Now I'm in color, I hit that twice, that's gone, and now I'm in develop and I'm gonna hit Command Z and just start removing these adjustments. As I hit them, they are removing each of those sliders individually. And when I get to the last one, it removes the entire tool. And hey, guess what? Now I'm back to where I was with just the preset and structure AI. Well, gosh, you know, I really liked what I had. Maybe I wanna go back and reapply those. So this is where you just do the reverse, which for me is Command Shift Z. So I've got those holding down and I'm gonna hit boom one time. There's develop. Now I'm gonna hit it again. There's smart contrast one more time. There's highlights one more time. There's shadows. I'm gonna hit it again, Command Shift Z. I reset the shadows. Remember I did that twice and I refixed uh, the highlights. I did that twice. Now I'm gonna hit Command Shift Z again adjusting that exposure and now i'm into color well i need to hit that again it's going to fix my oranges and i'm going to hit that again with develop and that's going to adjust my temperature and if i look in here at color you can see temperature and tint so that's how it works it's command z to undo and command shift z to redo again that's on a mac if you're a user of windows you will know what those key shifts are, or keystrokes are but it's a really useful thing to have to have this ability to undo and redo and just flip back and forth between changes to your edits without having to reset things and then forget uh, what were the numbers that i had i really like that because in the old version if you undid all that you you didn't have any record of your actual numbers and so this is bringing them back filter by filter and slider by slider within the filters so that's the major update. Now, there's a number of other things, performance and stability and things like that, but the key thing that I think you're really gonna care about here is this redo and undo functionality. It just comes in super handy, and you can quickly get an image that starts like that and ends up looking like a real banger, which is what it was. And this is an Iceland shot, so if you buy Luminar between now and May 1st, you get entered into the drawing, and you'll be joining us here in Iceland in August. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching, my friends. Hope this update is uh, useful to you, and I hope this video gives you some idea about what you can do with Luminar quickly and easily. And now with Undo and Redo, you can edit and adjust on the fly quickly. All that stuff is great. Thanks for watching, my friends. I appreciate it. I'll be back soon with more Luminar videos. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon, and until then, adios.